Hello and welcome to this lesson and here we are going to discuss the first problem which is planning the whole project before really understanding it. Now over time we faced a problem in our software development projects and what was that? The need to plan the entire project before really understanding the project's requirements. Now this often resulted in developing and delivering the wrong software and hardware product that did not really match or fulfill the client's needs. We had times when the third party companies would impose how we were supposed to produce or build our software products or how we were supposed to produce those services. Now to ensure that we build the software correctly, my company had to use some frameworks like the capacity maturity model, CMM, and ISO 9001. 2008. But the success of these frameworks is at this moment irrelevant to the Scrum process. We're going to focus more on how the Scrum has helped us uh, over time now. Now, before the Scrum framework that we applied, we used the waterfall software engineering model. Specifically says that you have recommended phases and you approach them in phases. Like, we started with requirements analysis to understand our clients' needs and wants, followed by designing and then implementing the requirements. And then we tested things and then we maintained all of this in the production environments. However, there were unforeseen delays in one phase somewhere and this had adverse effects on the following phases. And studies have shown that the waterfall methodology in itself was a critical factor in over 80% of failed software projects. So now that begs the question, why do we use this in the first place? The waterfall method had a strict sequential chain of project phases. And when I say that, what it means is where a previous phase had to be completed before starting off with the next phase. So going back was extremely painful costly, frustrating, and time-consuming. So first you have to complete one phase and go back. The project timeline was planned at the start and a releasable product was delivered only at the end of that timeline. So if one of the phase was delayed, all the other phases were delayed as well. And that's a typical waterfall model for you. To avoid this, project managers usually try to define all the requirements that they had in the earliest possible phases of the project. However, doing so by requirements definition in the first place is at the initial stage of any project, right? And was often complicated. And there were many requirements that would change throughout the course of the project. And studies again have showed that in most extensive and complex projects, about 60% of initial requirements would eventually change throughout the course of the project. The separation into different project phases forced project managers to estimate each phase uh, absolutely separately, even though most of these phases were worked on together and in parallel. So for instance, um, no reasonable person would assume that the development phase uh, would have to be finished before the testing phase even started. It, this is how exactly the waterfall method actually worked for, for so long. It's, that's how it has been working. Now the waterfall model can be useful, right? And for, for small and straightforward projects, it's very useful. But for bigger and more complex projects, it is highly risky and less efficient than the Scrum software development and delivery framework. Before the Scrum framework, sending our software back and forth between uh, various teams without the guidance of professionals with Scrum skills, obviously, uh, this made our work extremely bureaucratic. Okay, it was complex, it was unproductive, it not only affected the product, but also the implied morale and the commitment to our organizational missions. So if I sum this all up, the Scrum framework has literally changed software development by allowing teams to be more flexible, 
be more collaborative and efficient in delivering high quality products that really meet the client's requirements. Unlike the waterfall methodology, the Scrum framework embraces change and uncertainty, and it enables teams to adapt quickly to changing requirements and to deliver value to their clients iteratively. And this brings us to the end of this lesson. And we have discussed how before we applied Scrum, we had to plan all of the project beforehand, which was never really fruitful. So that's it for this lesson. We'll see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.